Right then, it's Sunday 29th of May um, at Bristol, no not Bristol, Bridgewater, Bridgewater Services um, at a BP garage. Ridiculous um, price for the fuel, it's £2 a litre or at least one ninety nine, probably one ninety nine point nine, isn't it? Anyway, um, not, I'll probably put 80 quid in I think, I'll give them the coins, if they're happy to take them that's great, if they're not I might give them the royal mint cake which you might have seen before okay so um that's 40 pounds in um, legal tender all right it's pretty much the maximum amount of coins you can get and it still be legal tender um all right so um we'll catch up after i've filled up Hi, pump 12. There you go. Cheers, Bob. When you have this like a commemorative um, coin, do you want to keep that? No, I want to spend it. All right, we'll take it as a Are you, you, we can't accept this, I'm afraid, as yeah. a form of payment for the 20, unfortunately. Okay. No, I'm really sorry, we can't. Okay. How do you want me to pay then? Well, you do you do accept cash, don't you? We do accept cash, but not, not something like this. Uh, is there any other notes or coins you don't accept? I'm sorry, sir, I've just never come across this. I've, we just... I've never had anything like this. Mm. Well, I haven't got any other form of payment. That's it. Right, can you just wait and I'll have to call my manager. Sure, I'll yeah. wait in my car, though. Alright, thank you. Hiya. Hello, Alright, right, thank you. I'm really sorry, we're not accepting. Um, why can't you accept those then? They are cash, aren't they? Well, to be absolutely fair, mm -hmm. it's the first time we've been, uh, the first time ever I saw them. Right. So normally we're taking like the 20 pound notes. Yeah, yeah. The 10 pound notes, 5 pound notes. Yeah. Um, our policy didn't state anything that we're taking 20 pound coins, so maybe that's something new, what our policy needs to be updated. Yeah. Um, I can definitely forward this one into um, our teams. Right. But at the moment, I would have to decline this kind of payment. Because um, it's not a common one. Okay. So I can even... The trouble is, you um, haven't really got those those terms on the pump, have you? Do you know what I mean? Like, um, you haven't excluded any kind of payment methods on the pump, have you? But since when is 20 pounds in in, uh, in running because the first time I come across of them um, they were made in two, uh, 2015 yeah yeah um, they've got the same legislation as all the other coins so they're just as much a valid payment form as the one pound coin and a two pound coin I appreciate they're not very often kind of um, seen in circulation but they're still a valid form of payment With respect, as a retailer, you should be kind of aware of all the valid forms of payment. Yeah, we just um, going through what our head office is stating. Yeah. You no, know, and head office never said so. We are accepting euros. We have a euros policy. You have a euros policy, do you? Yes. So really. So when you pay in euros, we have like an exchanging rate. What is signed off by the head office, but with the coins. What about dollars? Do you accept dollars? Sorry. Dollars, American dollars. No. Okay. So you accept euros, but you don't accept our own currency. Dollars, yeah, I can, I, that, this is feedback what I can like, yeah, pass yeah. on, you know, definitely. That's no, quite interesting because um, if you're researching it, you'll see that they're quite clearly 
listed amongst all the current coins that, um, sure, yeah. that are suitable for payment throughout the United Kingdom. And it's um, amusing to me that you might accept euros, but you don't accept their own current. And you know, and this is as a feedback what can come around because. Um, yeah. Like we across the south, we never had them dropping in. So no, well, I think it's quite um, a humble point of view you've got, where yeah. you know you're prepared to uh, sort of learn and take it on as feedback. That's no, no, commendable. Definitely, definitely, you know, it's like everything I come across. It's not like mm. I'm just saying no, I'm not doing it. I pass it on as well and say, look, mm. I had a customer who wanted to pay in coins. You yeah. know, what do we go on to do about it? Is this something maybe we have to look into it, and the company has to change? Yeah. Like the approach, but at the moment, um, until I have the confirmation, I would have to decline the payment. Okay. Yeah. But what does that mean? I cannot take the coins on. Right. But what does that mean? Do you have any other method of payment? Um, I can take two of them back and give you another method of payment for the other half. But could you not put them somewhere else where you could, for example, use them? Because when you use them as a payment of method, mm. And you know exactly which place is accepting them. Yeah. You know, maybe you can pay here like normal and then you are aware of that motor services. Right. You know, at the moment until it's changing. Right. And then you can use them like... <coughs> the other day I went to Asda and I paid at Asda petrol station with them. Um, uh, another petrol station recently um, accepted them without a problem. Yeah. It seems that um, they're just based on people's knowledge on, as to whether they know about the coins or not. Yeah. Would it be possible today? Uh, <laughs> you're pulling on my heartstrings there, aren't you? <laughs> I give you a coffee for the inconvenience. For a coffee? Yeah, or a tea. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> yeah, is this right? I'm sorry, it's just like, I will pass it definitely on. I put, passed it on into the group chat that if they can please investigate it. Look, as kind as you are, and as lovely as your offer is of a free coffee, I've actually already got a coffee, um, but it's a matter of principle for um, our right to be able to use um, money that's defined as legal tender. You know, um, it's, um, it's like a right, I think, a matter of principle. So as kind as you are, and as nice as you were when you said please and stuff, um, it is a legitimate means yeah. of payment. So this yeah. is what I had back, legal tender status, um, that it was issued since 2013 of silver commercial, like 2050 and 100 coins, yeah. and that, they are, mm, that we are not obligated. Yeah, I know, the trouble is, it's, I, I'm not obligated to pay in any other way, that's the trouble. And, and that's really referring to when you go into a shop um, and buy goods, and, goods where, um, you know, the trouble is goods have become mine now um, and then the debt is owed so then there is an obligation on you to accept the payment I mean you don't have to accept the payment but there wouldn't be any kind of like legal recourse if you refuse to accept the payment I can give you a refund for the coffee <laughs> I can't honestly I have to insist on that form of payment I'm afraid because it's a matter of my it's a principle it's something I do like do you know some people film and they say it's a right to film, and yeah. we're told that you can't film when you can. No, you and people right. put their foot down and say, well, oh, I am going to film because it's my right to film. No, of course you can. This is a matter of principle for me that I pay in those coins. Not sure, but at the moment, because my company said I cannot accept them, I cannot accept this as a form of payment. Yeah, but I think your company's mistaken. Okay. I think that. I will pass on definitely your yeah. I will do this for I'd you. I'd recommend okay. that you keep the coins. I'd recommend you keep the coins. Yeah, because if you were to throw them back in the car or something... Yeah, but the problem is as well, I cannot bank them. Well, how do so you know you can't bank them? You haven't tried. Because I'm using a smart safe, and our smart safe is not taking them. Oh, right. They don't take coins at all, do they? Our ones, no. No. So, in other words, what you're kind of saying... So this one, yeah. so I have on the main one a bank safe where I can put coins, and I, I couldn't even bank them. So what you're, you're saying is that, let me guess right, so what you're saying is that you, you're, the company that you give your cash to, they only take notes, they don't take coins, do they? Yes, 
they do take coins. Well, how do you know they don't take those coins? Because you said you... Um, because I don't have them on my coin system. I have only one pound, two pounds. All right. Oh, what, on like a list? So you have to describe what I coins have you've got? I put coins in the machine and then what the machine will do is send them out again. The post office, or at least change them up, up at the post office, um, or other banks. It seems, which company do you use? Is it Londis or G4S or something like that? You don't know? I just, I just, yeah, see what, operated that, you know. Mm. See, what the problem is, is that the company that your, your company has chosen to use for the method of banking, mm is infringing on my right to be able to use those coins to pay mm. and you're saying i'm oh, sorry i can't take those coins mm. which is my right to use those coins because the company that you use won't um won't transport them to the bank because it's not on their bit of paper with a list of all the coins that but they when take we go, like, online, it's that we don't have to accept them. no but it doesn't really go into the exact details the legalities of it um let me explain if you went into the supermarket and you had all your shopping and it was like 80 pounds of shopping and you put those coins on the counter they don't have to accept them because they don't have to sell you the stuff yeah but in this case you let me have th have the stuff before i've paid for it and now the stuff belongs to me um but i, I owe you the money i can i can um like no it belongs to me as long as you pay for it no it's interesting that actually because <laughs> in the sale of goods act um, there's this um, thing called, um, um, what's it called? Ascertaining, ascertain, non-ascertained and ascertained goods, right? Where goods are measured out and given to you, the point at which um, um, ownership is transferred is, in the case of the petrol pump, is when it's measured into my fuel tank. And it's the same as if you went out for a meal. You know, so um, if I had a meal, when they serve you the meal at the table, that's when the meal becomes mine, and I now then owe them the money. I couldn't eat the meal, and then they and then say, well, there's the coins, and they say, we don't accept those. That food's still ours, and I'm like, but it's in my tummy, <laughs> and you say, oh, I want it back, and I go <laughs> and give it back. That wouldn't be right, would it? No. No, so in the same way, the fuel's now mine because it's been sort of transferred into my tank and, it, and ownership happens at the time of measuring, yeah? So now I owe you the money, the legal money, and that is the legal money. So you don't have to accept credit cards or debit cards and things like that, but you actually kind of are obliged to accept um, cash because it's legislated. That's yeah, what but the banks are not accepting this one. Yeah, well, the banks are private institutions, aren't they? Again, the banks are private institutions. Um, they don't have to accept cash. Some banks are internet only, aren't they? Mm. Yeah? And they don't accept cash. They don't have to accept cash. Mm. If, that, if you owe them money and you were to offer to pay in cash and they refuse to accept it, as long as it wasn't in their terms and conditions at the time of taking out the loan, yeah, yeah. Um, they'd be obliged to accept it. But because you haven't got terms and conditions about what money you accept and what money you don't, it's sort of assumed that you do accept the money that's been legislated by the state, and that includes yeah, those coins. It's not one, it? No, it's not very common. No, they're actually made of silver, and you know. Yeah, I know, but they're not the common ones, like the common payment methods. Yeah. So we don't have to accept non-common payment methods. Um, <laughs> you don't have to accept non-common payment methods. Well, you don't have to accept any form of payment. There's no obligation to accept any form of payment. It's whether you could sue me for not paying if I've offered to pay you and I've given you the legally recognised form of money. Do you know what I mean? So if, I, if you said I don't accept fifty pound notes, yeah, but it would be the same when someone comes from another country and then I don't know starts to deal with shillings or you know there's like a they, they would say yeah I had the money but they didn't have the money what we was accepting. No, no, that's different because you're asking for one ninety nine point nine a litre, which is in fact quite expensive, isn't it? Right. <laughs> ah, right. Now this is it. This is very good. Very good. No, it is. Yeah. Everywhere we're priced up, so we all like even I drive. You know, so I'm checking if I put 
petrol in or even diesel what is actually what i'm paying for you know yeah yeah now you've got a good point be, there it would be not fair then later on saying oh yeah you have very expensive well, it, it was my responsibility to check what i'm putting actually in. yeah you quite clearly display the price of the fuel and i and i knew how much it was it even displays it on there as well in big letters yeah. as to how much the fuel's going to cost yeah. And you're asking for pounds sterling. So when I take the putt fuel, um, I've accepted your offer of 1.99 a litre, even though I think it's very expensive. Um, but then you're kind of obliged to accept payment in pounds sterling. And those coins are pounds sterling. But if you, you know, but so what you're saying is, can we amend the contract? Yeah. So that I don't accept that I pay in some other way and you'll give me a free coffee. But I would say that if we want to amend the contract... No, I just want to... It's not like amend a contract. I just no. want it to be, you know, nice. Yeah, you are being nice. the inconvenience because I cannot accept them. Yeah. You know, I don't want you driving here or being, like, angry or no, no. having any, you know, not nice emotions. So I thought, like, oh, at least I can offer you a coffee or something else to make you at least happy because I couldn't accept the payment. This is all I'm trying to do. No, that's very kind of you. I'm Thank you. I'm not trying to be no. or anything like this. I'm just trying to... You know, it's like, uh, how do we get around it? You know, when there is a other way of payment, and you can use maybe the coins, like you said, there is an option where, you, where other uh, petrol stations accepting them. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, but it's a matter of principle, I'm afraid, isn't it? It's sort of a matter of standing up for our rights, and I have got a right to be able to use those coins. Um, <coughs> the Queen legislated the coins as legal tender for payment throughout the United Kingdom. So because that's legislated as law, it means that it's also a right, because rights are um, laws that uh, govern our behaviour, and the things we do, the things we can do, and the things we can't do. And if the law says that I can do that, then I think it's a matter of principle that I should be able to do it. And although you've been very kind and offered me a coffee, that's very sweet, um, it's almost like re asking to rewrite the contract. And I would say, if you want to rewrite the contract, I'll be happy to pay £1.80 a litre and pay in some other way. <laughs> what do you think? I cannot, I cannot like, change the prices because no. I will be down, you know? I know. Possible. Well, you won't actually. You just won't make as much money as you thought you might have made no, at £2 would, a litre. We well, you don't pay more than other petrol stations for the fuel, do you? And if other petrol stations sell it for 180 a litre, no, and I'm you're selling it's two not pounds a litre. Not a very good expert in how this whole economic, how this all. You know, I sometimes ask myself the question: Why do I some petrol station have this price and some this one? Because I'm using it for my car, but hmm. I have to pass this one. I cannot give you more information. I'm not. Uh, well, it's because you're close to the motorway, and people are on long journeys, and they're running low of fuel, and they come off the motorway to the services, nice. and they pay through the nose. But I don't mind that because I um, accepted that at the beginning. Um, you know, when I drove in, I thought, oh, that's expensive, but I need some fuel. But then, you know, I had a good look on the pump as well to make sure there was no restrictions on the forms of cash that you accept. Mm. So um, that's why I'm sort of like saying that I'd like you to accept those coins, please. I had a good look. Are you the manager of this garage? I'm the manager of the site. Are you? Yes, I am. Yes. You got a nice smile. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't help me out of the situation, does it? No. <laughs> no, not really. Yes. So did you have no other way whatsoever for paying? Well, I have, but you're not going to like that either because... Have you seen these ones? That's 25 pence. No, I'm a spender. A spender? So you collect them and then you spend them? Um, well, they're all coins that are legal tender uh, on the Royal Mint website. And, you know, if they're um, legal tender on the Royal Mint website, they, they could be spent, as far as I see. I've, I don't see why um, you'll have a problem with the coins. They are legitimate um, and, you know, they're real coins.
You can even keep the change. Sorry? You can even keep the change. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> well, she was really sweet. I think she's going to come out with a receipt anyway, and 4p change. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give her 25p as a little tip. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That's what we'll do. Rob's in as she calls the police. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you very much. There, here's a little souvenir for you. That's for you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> for you to remember that. They're, they're, um, cr they're called crowns. Crowns? And they're for you, not for the garage. No, no, no. They're for me. Oh, they are brilliant. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you for being so nice about it. No, no. It's fine. You know, it's like I go to the bank and then let's wait and see what's going on. Yeah. But I, I was telling you, it, it's like for us, it's, um, it's a very uncommon. Yeah. You know, so um but mm. I will pass it on mm. as feedback so that we all do okay. next time. Okay. Yeah, my name's Brett. What's your name? Connie. Connie. All right, Connie, nice to meet you, Connie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> yeah, I might have been flirting a little bit, I must admit. But <clears throat> yep. Yeah. There you go, she accepted it and everyone's happy <clears throat> for today anyway. Right, see you on the next one guys.